YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a Jalen Suggs Orlando Magic rebuild along with the seven other guards this damn team has in this video I believe guys were like freaking 19 or 17 away from 19,000 subs so if you guys could go ahead hit that sub button if you haven't already help me get to 19k today and also smash that like button but other than that I don't have much else to say I kind of just want to talk about the rebuild we jump into it so let's go ahead and do our Jalen Suggs or the magic rebuild today Orlando Magic came out of the draft with Jalen Suggs and Franz Wagner or Wagner sorry I kind of pronounced that way wrong but hey they got Suggs out of the draft which is awesome obviously but uh you know it kind of you know scratches it makes you scratch your head a little bit like what are the Magic gonna do with the rest of the guards this team has like there's so many guards in this team that I can't predict, I can't fully predict what this team's going to do, right? That would be, like, rather impossible. I'm going to say, oh, they're going to keep this guy and this guy, and they're going to trade this guy and this guy. I have no clue. One thing I can say for sure is Terrence Ross is possibly a guy they would definitely trade away, I would imagine. Uh, but we don't need guards anymore. We need a forward, uh, a small forward. We have Jonathan Isaac at the four, which is cool. The man hasn't been able to stay healthy, though, so that is a little concerning, but we'll have to see how his health goes into this year. Uh, in real life, obviously 2K injuries are off, so he'll be fine in uh, 2K. But in real life, we'll have to kind of have to see how that goes. So I'm not really sure how, you know, what this team is going to do with their guards, man. I don't know. There's like six or five young guards here. Well, four young guards, I guess. I guess you could keep all of them, and I don't know, man. But one thing's for sure is we're going to go ahead and trade Terrence Ross away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure he gets to a contender. He's 30 years old. Very good shooter off the bench. I think he'd be helpful somewhere else. So if we could go ahead and trade him. Uh, to somewhere that would be helpful. That'd be great. So the Indian and Pacers want to give me Edmund Summer, who's 25, uh, a guard. But hey, we could, I guess, move him to small four if we wanted to. So right now he is six four. Obviously a little undersized, but uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of keep looking just in case. We have a first round pick from the Spurs. You now the Spurs are kind of weird. Maybe they still want to uh, compete. And then got Davis Bertans from the Wizards, which I don't want Davis Bertans. So I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, I think I'm going to do this Edmund Summer trade just because it's going to free up the most amount of uh, uh, salary room. And we get rid of um, uh, Terrence Ross and we could potentially move Edmund Summer to a backup uh, small forward spot or whatever. And then we have Gary Harris's big contract, Edmund Summer. And then honestly, I feel like we need to trade either Fultz, Cole Anthony here. Uh, probably going to be Fultz, to be honest with you. Uh, unless we wanted to move Fultz to like the shooting guard and just run like a weird guard lineup this year. I, th that's the thing. I just don't know what this team's plan is. So I guess for the first year, we can maybe just roll with it. So like we could have like Jalen Suggs at the point guard, or Anthony backing him up, and then we can make, maybe have Fultz play the two, I guess, or something like that. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. So we'll have Edmund Summer and RJ Hampton at the two spot. Gary Harris, probably move him to small forward or Edmund Summer to small forward. Probably move both of them there, to be honest. So Gary Harris goes up to a 75. Edmund Summer will stay the same. So we'll probably move both of them, even though they are undersized. It really doesn't matter because... I don't think this team is going to win anything this year anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. So, yeah, I guess we'll roll with what we got for now. Eventually, I think we do have to trade one of these guards, though. We do definitely do. So, uh, as far as free agency is concerned, I'm not going to be active in free agency. We're just going to skip right over it. We have a lot of young guys on the roster, and eventually, I think a trade will come for this Magic team because they're going to have to also decide between what they want to do with Mo Bamba, Fultz, obviously, as well. Um, well, definitely, I'm definitely kind of excited to see where the Orlando Magic's future lies just because you're going to have to make a decision eventually. I, I mean, you have three point guards, three young point guards. Usually that doesn't end up working out all, all too well. So I'm excited to kind of see how things go. But untapped potential wise, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw untapped potential at uh, probably Jalen Suggs since he is the title of the video. And I do want to hear from you guys what you think the Magic should do, whether it's trade Markel Fultz or... Maybe trade Cole Anthony or maybe even trade Jalen Suggs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. So, I don't know, man. Well, let me know what you guys think the Magic should do because, I, I'm, in my opinion, I have no idea. So, power ranking, lesson number 27. This is going to be our starting five this year. We have Jalen Suggs in the starting five. Markel Fultz, Gary Harris, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr., Cole Anthony, Mo Bamba, Chumo Kiki, and Edmund Summer. And RJ Hampton is not getting any minutes right now and neither is Franz Wagner. So uh, we're going to move this to a nope. We're not going to move it anywhere. We're going to go ahead and simulate season number one. See how bad this team is. One thing I do want to make sure of is that we have Chicago's 2023 first round pick in here because we do know that Chicago traded 2021 and 2023 uh, to the Magic. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we have that in this video because we might get to the 2023 draft. Not sure yet. But let's go ahead and see what happens here in season number one. So to my surprise, this team actually doesn't suck. In fact, we're the sixth seed in the East in the postseason, man. So something I was not expecting. We also have Evan Mobley winning Rookie of the Year on the Cavaliers. Good for him. DeMar Rose is sixth round of the Spurs. 
Isaac's your defensive player of the year. So yeah, the I, Jonathan Isaac thing in 2K is kind of crazy. He's always pretty damn good. So I guess maybe I shouldn't be too shocked. I'm definitely excited to kind of see who else was kind of, you know, uh, contributing to this uh, playoff run because I was not expecting to make the playoffs this year. Jalen Suggs uh, will definitely have to look at his stat line. Does make all-rookie all first team. Here's your all-rookie second team, Scotty Barnes. Um, we'll go ahead and see 43 and 39 looking at the player stats 21 from Cole Anthony So Cole Anthony actually as a was he the six man? How did this man not he was a six? Yeah, he was six, how did this man not win six man of the year? Wow, okay I didn't even mess with the tendencies at all. I don't think so uh, 21 points for Cole Anthony though off the bench Okay, 19 points from uh, Jalen Suggs and Cole Anthony. Okay, and then he had Markel Fultz with 16 uh, Jonathan Isaac with 14, Wendell Carter with uh, 14 as well, and then Chomo Kiki with 9, Mo Bamba with 8, and Gary Harris with 7, Edmund Summer with 5.5. So, I mean, hey, we made the playoffs. We are definitely, we definitely, definitely could be excited about that. So, we got Philadelphia, still has Ben Simmons. I cannot wait for Ben Simmons to be traded, man. Hopefully, it's to Portland because I want Ben Simmons. But, similarly, current round, and we are going to push Philly to the limit and even beat them in 7. Oh, my goodness, dude, the catastrophe that would go down in Philly. Is if Philly ran it back and they lost to the Magic in seven in the first round. That would just be a catastrophe. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, the fact that we've made it to the second round tells me that we should be an aggressive. We made it to these cars finals. Not, not even kidding. Wow. Okay. So now we get to play Atlanta, who has Trey Young, Herder, Reddish, Collins, Cook Capella, Anikon, Kongu, Bogey, Hunter, Gallinari. There's no way we actually make the finals, right? Okay, I was about to say, we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals of all things. Pelicans and Hawks, though, in the play uh, finals, Pelicans go on to win it all. So, that kind of tells me, I think we have our answer who we should be running in the backcourt. I mean, we could keep all these guards, of course, but I think upgrading the small forward spot would be kind of ideal this offseason. I think it would be. Uh, we're not going to have a good draft pick anymore, so Fultz... I don't know, man. You might be on your way out because Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs were showing that they should be the two guys leading the way, potentially. Well, we'll see. We'll kind of make a decision. But let's go to the draft lottery. The draft lottery, we do not have a, uh, a lottery pick, which is unfortunate because I thought we were going to have one. But we do end up with pick number 21. I'm so excited the fact that we made it all the way to the freaking Eastern Conference Finals. I mean, that is a good sign of good things to come, right? A Magic... Magic are pretty crazy in 2K, though, as it is. So, Trade Finder, we have Fultz under contract. We have Mobamba under contract. Obviously, we might have cap space this offseason to maybe make a trade or to uh, sign a free agent. But, you know, there is always the possibility to make a trade. Uh, the Mavericks um, were the 13th seed, unfortunately for them. Um, we have... Uh, okay, what else? Uh, did I... Did I have that? Uh, I'm pretty sure I had that Moses Brown trade updated today. I want to make sure I didn't mess up on that. Uh, yeah, Moses Brown should have been on the P Mavericks. Okay, maybe he just buried in the rotation. Let me see if that's the case because I'm actually curious now if I updated that. And they, oh yeah, he's right there. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start looking again. I was just curious if I had updated that trade in my file. So. Um, centers or, or small forwards, I, I mean, is what I'm looking for, uh, particularly. So what small forward do we want? I mean, Ben Simmons, man, we just eliminated the Sixers. If you no know, Sixers decided they still don't want to you know, run it back. Maybe we, uh, go for Mr. Simmons, but, uh, I'll keep looking just in case. Cause that's, uh, we got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum and the Celtics didn't even make the postseason of the 12 seed. Okay. Okay. All right. That is always interesting, um, but how realistic is that? Not really. So, um, what else? We got Sabonis um, and TJ Warren, Ingram. The Pelicans just won a championship, so why would they do that? Kawhi Leonard, of course, lands on the Pistons. All right. Um, we got OG and Anobi from the Raptors. OG might be gettable. Uh, might be might be uh, gettable, to be honest. So, we might try to go for OG and Anobi here because... That could be nice. I think we'll wait. We'll wait till free agency. Ojinobi is definitely at the top of my uh, list just as a defensive small forward that would like fit really nicely. So I'm definitely going to be looking at OG this offseason. We'll see though. Uh, rookie signing. We got Johnny Juzang out of the second round as well and Ke uh, Keon Brooks. Okay. We'll accept all of our player options. Qualifying offers Wendell Carter as a free agent. Uh, definitely don't mind bringing him back. Pretty sure he had a good year for us. And 2K is frozen on me. I'm not even kidding. This game has crashed on me like four times. I've done everything possible. I literally had to go to a whole new file. I don't know what it was. Something about that file that I downloaded off 2K Share Scenario was just not working 
right when I quit qualifying offers for Wendell Carter Jr. Now, every time I clicked that, it just crashed. So this is a totally different file. This time, we didn't even make the postseason this time. We're the 27th. So we're totally in a... It just... It's been a disaster this morning, guys. It really has been. So I just try to get a video out, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, my camera wasn't working this morning. And then this game has crashed like four times on me. It has been very, very infuriating. But hey, here we are finally, finally in a whole different file, I guess, getting it to work. So I don't know what's going on. It, it, the world is against me right now, but it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. So um, this time, though, in this scenario, I mean, we're just kind of we're going to kind of go off what we saw earlier. You guys saw that Cole Anthony had a breakout year. Uh, and then Jalen Suggs back to my Markel Fultz, you know, was kind of struggling, not necessarily struggling, but it looked like Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs were going to be our two guys. I know Markel Fultz actually did pretty good in this simulation, but I kind of want to go off what we saw earlier. So, um, Jalen Suggs and Cole Anthony are the two guys I do want to roll with. So Fultz, like I said, I was looking to make some kind of a uh, big move, uh, earlier before the game kept crashing on me. So I wanted to look at free agents before I did anything though, just to kind of see, what was available to me and I could sign someone which would be fun so we could go um, look I was looking for a forward in particular like I don't know what it would have been maybe I got MPJ from the Nuggets if they decided and then Shea obviously that's been a big rumor how the Thunder apparently don't want to pay Shea because he's not in the same timeline or whatever I don't understand how he's on the same timeline but whatever because uh, I feel like that just doesn't make any sense but you know I don't know so I'm not a GM I just play 2k so uh, what I want to do is I am going to throw an offer at Michael Porter Jr. I doubt I get it to go through, though. I have a weird feeling that they're probably going to obviously uh, match it. Yeah, they did. So um, that's going to lead to probably not going to be able to get anybody. Uh, we could. Uh, so right now, obviously, small forward spot is definitely what we need because I like Wendell Carter Jr. I like Mo Bamba. Small forward is what I'm kind of looking for this offseason. Now, where is that you know going to come from? I have no clue. I have no clue, but I definitely want to look. I did say earlier that I was interested in OG and Anobi, and I still kind of am. I feel like that would still be a lot of fun to grab OG uh, from the Raptors, which would be awesome. And then the Celtics this time are actually good. Uh, the Raptors, are they st They made the playoffs, but the, you know, like I said, we're kind of going off what we saw earlier. The Raptors were like not even the postseason in the earlier file that we were in. And after this, I'm going to make my own. I'm going to make my own file. I'm done relying on 2K share scenarios. And I'm going to make my own. And if I do, I'm going to try to upload it as a 2K share scenario for you guys on Xbox Series X if you're on next gen. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So what I want to do is I want to try to trade for OG and Anobi. I don't know what they're going to want. Uh, he's 25 years old, 17 million. So they want Isaac. No thanks. Jumo Kiki. No thanks. Cole Anthony, RJ Hampton, and Franz Wagner, and Mo Bamba. Honestly, I'm kind of cool with this one. Uh, Mo Bamba is someone that uh, I don't think the Raptors are going to commit, or not the Raptors, the Magic are going to commit too long term. We get Franz Wagner, Mo Bamba, and we also get to keep Markel Fultz in this scenario. We do trade Franz Wagner though, but I'm going to go ahead and be okay with that. We're going to get OG and Obi to be a 3 and D wing on that small forward spot, which is definitely going to be very, very helpful to us. So I guess for right now, we're going to keep our guards. So um, yeah, OG and Obi, Trenton and Warford, Jonathan Isaac, Trumo Kiki, and then Nero as well. Right now, we'll back up. Obviously, Wendell Carter Jr. comes back. And I think we'll be ready for this next season. So, Wendell Carter is asking for $24 million out in free agency. Don't think, actually, I am going to have to match something. So, I'm going to go ahead and match uh, Wendell Carter's offer because I don't want to see him go. He is the center that we traded for um, in the Nikola Vucevic trade. So, we're going to go ahead and make sure we keep that around. We'll have Wendell Carter Jr. coming back. And we'll go straight now to player progression and kind of see how this team treats us to season number two, man. This game has been a pain in my arse this morning. But hopefully... Uh, with Ojinobi joining us, that's going to add some more defense, and uh, we'll have plenty of scoring still on the roster with our guard lineup. And I'm just kind of excited to see what's going to happen finally, man. Oh my goodness, it has been a freaking obstacle course getting to this point. Absolute obstacle course. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Jalen Suggs on top of potential. I'm going to throw another one at uh, Wendell Carter because we just gave him a bag. And we'll throw the other one at uh, Ojinobi. Why not? Because we just traded for him. So, powering lens is number 13. And we have Jalen Suggs, Fultz in the backcourt, Ojinobi, Isaac, Wendell Carter, backed up by Cole Anthony, Chomo Kiki, well, and RJ Hampton. Proficiency-wise, we're four-star at pace and space. And yes, you guys can tell this file is totally different because uh, Steve Clifford is now our head coach again. So yeah, it is what I had to work with, man. I, I apologize for uh, the lack of their, you know, the lack that we had. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I just apologize, all right? So let's go ahead and still to the end of the season. And let's see how we do in season number two. We all know... The first file, we made it all the way to the Ushikara's final, so can we do something like that again? I don't know. 
Ended up going 57 and 25, I believe it was. So Jonathan Isaac, once again, was Defensive Player of the Year. Elijah Hughes, most improved, and Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year, even though he's not a coach anymore. Here's your NBA first team. You got Luka, Trey Young, Kevin Durant, Giannis, Nikola Jokic, and here's your NBA second team. Stephen Curry, Cade Cunningham, Siakam, AD, Joel Embiid, and here's your NBA third team with Dame, Kyrie, Kawhi, LeBron James, and Mr. Carlton Towns. All right, so... Uh, we are 56 and 26, my apologies, and we get to play the Detroit Pistons in the first round here. So 21 from Jalen Suggs, 18 and a half from Markel Fultz, 17 from Jonathan Isaac, and 16 from Cole Anthony, 13 from Wendell Carter, 12 from OG Nobi as well to go along with that. So uh, we are playing the Detroit Pistons in the first round. We have Cade Cunningham, Marcus Smart, Sadiq Bay, Jeremy Grant, Robert Williams, and Killian Hayes, man. All right. I kind of like what the uh, Pistons have done with their roster, but uh, summoning current round, and we are going to beat them in four games. So Looks like the Pistons were no match, and now we get to play the Milwaukee Bucks. Who do have Giannis on the Kumpo? I do fear that, uh, well, I guess we have Jonathan Isaac who can maybe match up pretty decently with him because that would be our best chance. But I feel like, you know, Isaac would probably struggle to guard Giannis. I mean, obviously, everyone will, but, you know. Game one, though. Uh, wait, do they have Chris Middleton anymore? Yeah, they do. Okay, never mind. Game two, we're up two to zero. Game three, no way we sweep them. I'm about to say, um, three to one, and beat them at five. All right, so. We get to play the Boston Celtics now. We have DJ Carton, Juwan B. Garin, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Mitch Robinson, Montrezl Harrell. I'm just kidding. Montrezl Harrell. Sorry. Uh, U.S. Valchunas, Nate Smith, Moses Brown, and Peyton Pritchard. Game one, they're up 1-0. to zero. Game two, we even it up. Game three, we're up 2-1. to one. Game four, 3-1, to one, and uh, we beat them in six. Yes, we're on to the NBA Finals to play. The Minnesota Timberwolves, we don't even have to deal with the Pelicans. That's what I'm talking about. D'Lo, Edwards, Culver, McDaniels, Carly Towns, Malik Beasley, Houston, and Nas Reed. Game one, we're up one to zero. Game two, they even it up. Game three, we're up two to one. Game four, three to one. Okay. So, I mean, this Magic team is OP. It's it's just OP. And any file you, you run it in, they're just overpowered. So, can we lay the Minnesota Timberwolves to bed here? We almost can do just that that is what i'm talking about 102 to 129 i don't even know how long i've been recording because like i said it's been an absolute mess this morning but i'm just glad that at least out of everything i've dealt with this morning we're gonna win a championship with the magic here so this guard thing might actually work i thought i was gonna trade one of these guards but i guess i just decided to go with them man but again i am still curious to what you guys think the magic should do in real life should they trade these guard trade one of these guards and if so who will it be do you think that it's going to be full? Do you think it's going to be Cole Anthony? Let me know what you guys think. I honestly, if I was a betting man, wow, sucks for three. Let's go. If I was a betting man, I would say Fultz would probably be the guy on the way out and then probably run a backcourt of maybe like Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs together. I don't know. I'm definitely uh, interested and curious to see how that's going to go. Wendell oh, Carter. Wow, I absolutely just got, I got mopped. I got mobbed by Carly Towns, but it's all good. All right, let's go. Jalen Suggs, um, let me get a screen from Mr. Wendell Carter. So that's going to give a screen. And again, they're going to sag off me. So I'm going to go ahead and take that three. But this time I will not make it. So um, if they want to keep sagging, though, I'm definitely going to keep shooting that. So Fultz, Jonathan Isaac. Can I steal the ball here? No. All right. Wendell Carter, again, down low on Carly Towns. This time we played good defense on it. And let's keep going. Run the floor now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and maybe take this all the way. No, d has got some good D on me. All right. Fultz. I'm going to shoot this. Let's go. Come on. Go in there. Let's. Oh, Wendell Carter almost got the offensive board. Okay. Taking too many threes here, but it's all good. I uh, kind of want to get alley -oop for the culture to end this off. We got Caleb Houston for three. Misses it. We can run the floor now. Wendell Carter, run the floor, baby. Or Isaac, give me a screen. One of you. I'm throwing a lob. I don't even care if it's not open. It may not be. Actually, it's there. Let's go. And one, baby. Let's freaking go. Look at Edwards. I almost don't even look like him, to be honest. All right, come on. Let's go. And we, we convert the end one here. No, man. Oh, well. That was still a sexy play. That's still a sexy play. I don't even care. So they get one more possession. I was Crusoe in a Timberwolves jersey. All right. The swagger is there. We get a... Oh, that foul was late. That foul was late. Okay. I don't know why I'm trying to go for a steal. The game's over, though. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video despite all the technical difficulties and despite the crashing and despite the weirdness of this video. Like I said, I think straight after I'm done with everything I need to do this morning, I'm going to work on my own file. I'm going to I'm gonna make it. And then if I can figure out how to upload it in 2K share scenario, I need to figure out how to do that. I will probably upload it for you guys that have been asking me about getting a file. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you.